there was a question that came up from one of my clients. She was talking about keeping your mindset in the right place and being at the right vibration because obviously if you're feeling down, you attract those lower vibrations. So meaning uh, lack, meaning scarcity, meaning shame, frustration, anger, all those things. But in particular, we were talking about content. And the thing that I shared with her is that if you want to attract people who are in the mindset of buying, then you've got to give them something that they're looking for, which is a result. And the result is usually the result which answers the problem that they're currently facing. So creating content around case studies, sharing testimonials within those case studies will allow people to see that actually you're the kind of person who can help solve that particular type of problem. One of the other things that I mentioned is, as well as case studies, which is part of a method that I teach called the six week content rhythm, you need to produce and publish content that changes beliefs. So it shows people that perhaps you're facing this with this particular challenge, but actually you need to be over here by changing your beliefs to see that it's possible by doing these actions, right? And once you do these actions, you get this particular type of result, which helps to change your beliefs, right? So content that helps people to transform, showing them the problem that they're facing, steps to go through, and what's possible either with yourself or with your clients and what they've achieved will help people to change their beliefs. And finally, the third type of content you can publish is offering lead magnets. So give people some type of value that fixes a problem they're going through now. Because if you offer a lead magnet, whether it's a guide, a video, a cheat sheet, a quiz, whatever the thing is, you're giving people the opportunity to get some value now. And that will get more people to raise their hand to ask for the thing or request the thing, right? And that in your world is good because you've got some activity going and you're getting it directly from people who are actually seeking out the solution. So the, the conclusion of this and what I want to share with you is keep your marketing consistent. It doesn't mean that you've got to do hundreds of videos every week. It's great if you can because you're going to get much more information and data points come back. But just stay consistent with publishing content, with going out to your audience, building your network. Because when people you're having conversations with people in your network who are going to be introduced as referrers, JV partners, that type of stuff. They'll see your content as well because people will be attracted even more to you to know that you're active. It's not that you're just relying on other people's audiences or their connections or their network. People love to see the fact that you're actually doing good things because your high vibration or your higher vibration of showing results, creating content, being positive and focused on where you're going in your coaching, consulting or your, just your online business will attract those people too. So it will open up points of conversation as well, not just you asking for referrals. So keep your content going because it will have that double effect. One, to attract and grow your audience and generate leads. But two, when you do speak to partners, they'll see that you're actually doing what you say that you do. And that's it for now.